a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story. Night. Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Right then, you two, have you got any story ideas? No, I can't think of anything. I'm bored. Yeah, so mm. am I. Mm. Bored? How can you be bored when you have me to entertain you? <laughs> yes, yes, but the children talked about going to the park and having fun and playing this and playing that. Mm, they're always doing something exciting. And so too, my friends, are we. We are the story makers. We have the best fun there is to have. Can we have a story about having fun? That might cheer us up a little. Mm. Yes. Marvellous idea, my little cherub. <laughs> Here you are, son. Story machine, we're feeling glum. Give us a story about having fun. Now for the magic ingredient. You know what it is, don't you? Yes, imagination. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Why, it's a playbook. And it's called The Pier. Hannah and her friend Amy are going to the pier for the day with Mum. There are lots of things to do on the pier. Anna has brought her favourite teddy along to enjoy the fun. What will they do first? Look at all the toys you can win. There's a man playing a game called Tin Can Alley. Hannah and Amy want to have a go too. They throw the balls really hard. But they don't hit the cans. They just drop onto the floor. So Mum takes them to find the carousel. Hannah and Amy love the carousel. Up and down, round and round. They sit in a special carriage and watch the horses galloping up and down. All that fun has made the girls hungry. Let's have donuts, Mum. The donuts are made in a funny machine and cooked in hot oil. Yum, yum. Mmm, they're warm and sugary and fluffy. The girls munch and munch. Hannah has sugar on her, so she brushes it off. What shall we do now, Mum? A boat trip. Oh dear, Hannah let go of her boat. It has floated away. But the lady finds her another one. Ooh. Amy's getting into her boat too. Off they go. Woo! Boats are fun. Whee! 
time for Hannah to come in now. Don't fall in. Amy steers her boat to the shore. One last thing before they leave the pier. What can it be? The rock shop. The girls want to find a piece of rock with their names on it. There's Hannah's. And Amy's found hers too. OK, time to go home. That was a fun day at the pier. I hope we come again soon. Did you see the horses? They were brilliant. Mm -hmm. I really want one, you know. Oh, I'd like a horse too. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, clip up, clip up. <laughs> look, look, the children have used these horses to make a, a, a cara, cara roundabout. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And look. They've left some behind. Oh, yes. What shall we do with them? <gasps> Let's put one of them in the story machine to make a story. Clippity clop, in you go. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a roundabout story. Will you join in with the magic words? Ready? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Travelling fair. Brilliant. <laughs> Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they'll sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Something special makes Sniff stop and stare. Look, it's a travelling fair. The rides have stopped. The lights have been turned off. There is only the faint smell of candy floss. Wag is sad, and when Sniff asks her why, she says, I wanted to turn on the coconut shy. Suddenly, the fair comes to life, and the coconuts sing. We are the dancing coconuts. Welcome to our show. Help yourself to balls and throw, throw, throw. Watch us as we wobble. Look out down below. If you knock us off, you can take us home. <laughs> Sniff throws a ball, but the coconut jumps over it. Nah, 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 nah. You can't catch me. I'm the fastest coconut you ever did see. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. You're cheating. Leave it to me, Bark's Wag. I'll hit it. She throws the ball as hard as she can and whacks the coconut hard on the chin. Oh, oh. that hurts. Now you have to take me home. It grows. It's all right, says Sniff. I only eat bones. Hooray! I'm saved, the coconut cries. Now, can you help me get back on the shy? Wag snuffles the coconut on her nose. She tosses it up and back it goes. Two carousel horses come trotting over. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, Flora. Now, meet two doggy friends of mine. They've been very kind and deserve a ride home. Sniff and Wag gallop home in style, holding tight all the while. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we'll play again. It was really magical, wasn't it? Mm. Did mm. someone mention magic? Yes, mm. we were just talking about the travelling fair with Sniff and Wag, and the coconut shy came to life, and they had magical flying horses. Mm. Oh, mm. marvellous! Mm. You can't beat a good bit of magic, that's mm. what I always but say. Could we have a story about magic, please? Why, certainly. All you have to do is ask. Oh, yes. And can I have a magician in it? Why, yes. 
You never know. It could be about me. This should do the trick. One magic wand. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. And it's called Blue Cow and the Magic Wand. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the stars and thinking about magic. I wonder what it would be like to do magic. She's off again, said one cow. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to meet a magician, please. There you go, madam. Oh, very tight. And they set off for a magic castle. And then they arrived. She was outside a beautiful castle. Help! said a small voice. Blue Cow looked down and saw a long black stick with white tips lying in the grass beside her. Yes, me! Help me! Blue Cow realised with a start that it was the stick that was talking. My name is David Copperpot, the famous magician. I'm afraid I accidentally turned myself into a magic wand. Will you help me to become myself again? Oh, of course! What do I have to do? asked Blue Cow. You wave me about and say the magic word, said David. But I can't tell you the magic word. You have to guess. OK, said Blue Cow, and she picked up the wand. Abracadabra, she said. <coughs> Ping! A row of cakes appeared. Uh, not quite. Try again. Uh, open sesame, tried Blue Cow. Ping! A large <coughs> pot of tea appeared. Oh, oh, perhaps you could give me a clue. Well, what do you say when you really want something? Uh, give it to me now, said Blue Cow. Ping! A bucket of water appeared from the sky and soaked her. Just then, an idea occurred to Blue Cow. She waved the wand again. Please, she asked. Ping! The wand shot into the air, a cloud of stars burst out of the top. Bang! There stood David Copperpot. Oh, thank you so much. Perhaps you'd like to come into the castle and we can drink the tea and eat some of these cakes that you made appear. Ooh, that would be lovely, said Blue Cow. And they went into the castle for tea. We'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a magician's castle and made tea and cakes appear. Everyone knows cows can't do magic. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> well, I hope you had fun making all those stories. Oh, oh, I did. I wasn't bored after all. No, no, it's I. I love making stories. <laughs> but now, the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. Mm. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>